Hi, so we've been talking about Newton's second law and forces for a bit. Uh, now let's talk about how do we add forces, or specifically vectors, um, when they're in uh, at right angles to each other, or so in other words, in two dimensions. So vector addition, we've talked about it on the same axis before, now let's do it on multiple axes. So first what we do is we apply the same rules um, as we did before to uh, having vectors on the same axis, and we apply that to simplify this. So the goal is to simplify it to simply two vectors, in other words the net um, or resultant vector along the x-axis and then the resultant vector along the y-axis. So in this case, we get that the resultant vector, resultant force, um, is going to be just 3, because these two cancel out, and these only partially cancel out, so it'll be to the right. Well, what happens if we have a resultant vector um, in both axes? In other words, this one didn't cancel out from that one. So that scenario might look something like this, where we had 8 in the um, upward direction and 6 in the right direction. So the goal here is first... Uh, finds the, uh, what do you call it, or add or subtract the vectors on each axis separately, and that's how we got to this point. And then now what you do is you'd use the Pythagorean theorem to add these two together. So in this case, 8 squared plus 6 squared gives me, or a squared, this being a, this being b, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So c squared is 100, you take the square root of both sides, and you get that the net or resultant force is... 10 newtons, and it's going to be in the upward and kind of right direction. We'll figure out how to do this uh, visually a little bit more later, uh, and we'll talk about the trig behind it um, probably in a further lecture as well. That's it. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms, please.